Wow. Holy cow, you guys. Uh, what a week it's been. Crazy couple weeks, actually. Daryl Brooks, of course, today. Trial is finally over, waiting for the jury. And then just now, the judge springs on us this Reddit, subreddit. Justice for Daryl. What I'm hoping to get out of my review of this website, or, or of the subreddit, is finally some of the answers that we've got about his, all of his sovereign citizen nonsense that he's been spreading. What the hell is he talking about? What does he mean? I have no clue. I've been reading lawsuits for almost 20 years now. All right? I have no clue what he's talking about in anything that he said. I'm hoping for answers here. So we'll get to the second post here, which is what the judge was talking about. What I want to do first is... Um, let's understand this Justice for Daryl, We the People subreddit. So I think the top one that's pinned by moderators is the most important. This is a serious matter. A man's life is at stake. I will be removing any jokes, memes, or bad arguments stating or implying that Daryl Brooks is not innocent. I will also be reporting these comments posts for hate. If you value your Reddit account, you will not post these types of comments. First, you guys, I want you to think about this. They are only going to be removing stuff that talks about the uh, how he's guilty. And as we see, as we look through this, people that are talking about his uh, how his arguments make no sense, how he is guilty... He was videotaped. All of this stuff, they are marked as bad faith. I mean, just watch. So, verified lawyer, uh, you forever home, one, two, three. I have no clue how Reddit works, you guys. I just did a Google. So, comment is removed by moderator. Looking forward to see non-evidence-based attacks against the judge, jury, and state not be tolerated as well. No, 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 those kinds of attacks are okay for the op because the op is definitely a sensible and intelligent individual. Then a comment is removed by a moderator. Uh, that looks like an auto moderator, so. Biased attacks are not evidence based attacks. You've been brainwashed. Okay, I'm sure that bias is the only reason that these comments are being removed. Not that you yourself are extremely biased or anything. That would just be too ironic, wouldn't it? Verified lawyer with clown face. Joke is okay. His name is lawyer. Ver verified lawyer. Then I'm a talking duck. You're not funny or clever. Is that judicial determination? Objection. Relevancy. Uh, shallow and pedantic. What? No. Why would it be then instead of then? Got it right. Take it from me. A bad faith actor. So, uh, bad faith actor notice. Oh my god, that automated message is hilarious. I want to be a bad faith act actor. How do I get that tag? The very title of this post is bias in itself. No, it's not. You're saying that it's showing your bias. No, you guys. That it, the entire title is showing bias. It's allowed, and I'll, I'll, I'll let it be, but it is bias. Will not to tolerate bias, then it goes on to assume the innocence of Daryl Brooks and only forbids non-evidence-based attacks on him and his innocence. All in one astonishingly ironic sentence. Interestingly enough, I have seen all I have seen from the sub so far in his defense is a seemingly endless supply of non-evidence-based attacks on everyone else involved an equal amount of non-evidence-based comments claiming him to be a victim in one form or another. I would have assumed that this entire sub was an elaborate and tasteless joke, but I digress. Not my job to educate you. This is a sub for people who know that he's innocent, not for you. Trust me, the last thing in this world I want is for you to make any effort to educate me about anything. No, I want you to educate me. Please, please educate me on your version of the law, lawyer. Uh, I would. I really want to hear from you. I really do. Uh, we are near the end of the circus, and based on all the overwhelming evidence and testimony I've seen, 
I'm sure justice will prevail. The only sad part is that you and the rest of the sub will just fall further down the rabbit hole of willing ignorance. The blatant hate you have in your heart and mind will only continue to grow and grow. I suggest you get help. Your ignorance is astounding, completely unable or unwilling to learn. Truly disgusting. Let me know when you get the help that you will do. In the meantime, good luck with your imaginary law degree. Uh, okay. Delusion I have seen in the sub really makes me sad for the future of society. All they have to say is there's no subject matter jurisdiction shows though they know nothing of the law and are just trying to throw racism in the mix. They get real silent when you ask them if they're still they'd still be representing them if they were white and the ones that say no further prove their racism, they're digging their own holes. <laughs> How is there anybody here? Yeah, yeah. Just for amusement until the judge gives him a five hundred or six hundred years. I mean we see the guy driving. Nobody knows he's in the same... Well, he's quite clearly not. But I accept for value and return the value of, for value this nonsensical form. See, another bad faith actor. How does anyone know he is innocent? I'm the... In the I'm the in the legal sense. No judgment has been made yet. Societal sense, you can't really know he's innocent until you know who actually did it or have an alibi for him. Since he admits to being the driver of the car at the time, it's hard to fathom how you could... Eat of either of those pieces of information. You're an idiot. Because they will not tolerate biased accusations of guilt. I tend to think he is guilty, but so far I've only seen the trial. I'm open to have in my mind change, which is why I'm here. Actually, if you want to get really technical, you know what? Uh, I want to read here from the people that are not bad faith actors, because I... Anyone who disagrees with you, biased and ignorant, truly, in your mind, are you capable of considering maybe even adopting another's decision? Do you think it's possible for a white person to disagree? Wow. Uh, do you think it's possible for a white person to disagree with a white, non-white person without it being racist or biased? Not if they're being honest. Holy cow. You guys, I'm a white guy. You see that? I'm 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 white. I'm I'm from Wyoming. All right, I'm as white as they come. And let me tell you, I have disagreements with white people. I have disagreements. I have disagreements with people of every color. It is not because of your race that I disagree. It is because whatever you are saying, I do not agree with. That is the whole reason I may disagree with you. Uh, what is your reasoning? Go away, crack a uh, reasoning, but thank you. Simple respect. Okay, so I think we've done with this. All right, let's get to the post that the judge talked about. So to start with, I obviously shouldn't be here. I'm not allowed to look stuff up about this trial or really have any connection with the internet, but nobody actually follows sequestering rules. Anyway, hence, I am obviously posting anonymously. I accidentally wandered into here a few days ago from the subreddit drama thread on my main Reddit account. Here's my opinion on the trial. First off, I think it's pretty obvious due to a chain of custody the defendant is, in fact, Mr. Brooks and did do it. However, I've had throughout this trial doubts about various aspects of the case. The judge is clearly biased against Mr. Brooks. I got that feeling from when we were in the room and my eyes have been open to how she acted towards him when the jury was out of the room. Clearly, she is not an impartial judge and has been trying to belittle, demean, bully, and pull procedural tricks on him fairly frequently. I had my doubts already, but the subreddit has shown to me clearly. All right, you guys. So... Point number one here. She has been as fair as she possibly could to him. Him being uncooperative, him being argumentative, him spouting nonsense legal terms that make absolutely zero sense, have no merit. She has been extremely fair. In fact, I will venture to say, you guys, 
I understand a lot of you love her. I don't like this judge. She should have shut him up and shut him down a week ago. This trial has gone on for as long as it has because she has been a weak person and not actually controlling her. Now I understand she wants to be as nice, she wants the record and all this stuff, but too many hours have been spent with her arguing and explaining stuff to him, answering his stupid questions. Way above what I think is would is acceptable by any judge. And yes, you guys, I understand again. Hate me all you want. But that is my opinion on the judge. I don't think she's been a good judge. I would have loved to see a different judge have this handle this case. Nothing she's done is appealable though. So you know, she's she's made a very clear record, a very good record. She's not going to get overturned on any of the decisions she's made. She's made some decisions I don't agree with, but that's any case, any trial. I don't believe anything, even adding it all together, has been to the point of uh, overturning the verdict. If there is a verdict of guilty, uh, there you go. Mr. Brooks has clearly not been given the chance to plead his case in court. He has been silenced and mocked at almost every turn. While he may be a bit louder, crass at times, I still believe his side deserves to be heard. The only reason he hasn't been given the chance to plead his case is because he was disruptive, wouldn't answer the judge's questions, wouldn't stay on task. She tried time and time and time and time and time and time and time again. To get him to actually answer her damn question so they could move on. He refused to do so. It is his fault. Not hers. I do have significant doubts about subject matter jurisdiction. Okay. Subject matter jurisdiction. The stupidest argument ever. And again, hopefully we'll see some of this in the... Um, in this stupid subreddit, but subject matter jurisdiction. Okay, let's talk about federal. You don't bring a bankruptcy case to your regular district court. You've got to file it under the bankruptcy court. That's subject matter jurisdiction, right? All right. Uh, federal court as well. You've got copyright. There's a federal copyright court that handles all copyright matters. Okay. Subject matter jurisdiction. On the local level. Alright. Let's take this down to civil really quick. Now, alright, yeah, let's let's start there. Most states have subject matter jurisdiction set up for their courts. I don't know uh how, where you live. I don't know what state you're in. Uh and I can't recall exactly how Wisconsin is set up, so we're going to talk about Wyoming. Here, we've got our county court has two jurisdictions. We've got the district court, which is the lower level court, in a civil matter. They're the ones that are going to be hearing anything under a dollar amount. They're the ones that are going to be handling small claims. They're the ones that are going to be handling a lot of that type of stuff. In criminal matters, it's the district court that's going to hear all misdemeanors. It's the uh, circuit court... Uh, that is uh, going to, sorry, the district court that is going, no, nope, it is circuit court. Circuit court is lower. Okay. Uh, circuit court is going to be hearing all lower matters, uh, misdemeanors, and then the initial appearances. Uh, they're the ones that you're going to uh, find probable cause and all that stuff. That's all done at that lower court. And it would be improper for the lower court they wouldn't have subject matter jurisdiction to take a plea on a felony. Only the higher level court can take that plea. Here in Wyoming, again, I don't know how your state is set up. So we've got that, and then we've got the, um, then of course we've got the higher level court. And so they're the ones that are going to hear the larger cases. So you want to sue somebody for $50,000. You want to sue 
uh, you want you're facing criminal charges. They're the ones that can take your plea. Again, at that lower level court, the judge can't even hear you say guilty unless it is pled down to a misdemeanor. But they cannot take pleas on a felony. That is subject matter jurisdiction on the local level. Right. She clearly has subject matter jurisdiction to hear a criminal matter in the state of Wisconsin. Subject matter jurisdiction is stupid. A horrible argument. Clearly this judge is allowed to hear it. This court has jurisdiction according to the laws of that state. But I do understand now, thanks to the sub, and I agree that the subject matter jurisdiction is a great concern here. Wrong. It has made me aware of jur jury nullification, and I am very grateful for that. So jury nullification... All right, I want you to think uh, a, a person, and let's talk about race. A black man is arrested for drinking out of a white person's, a white establishment's uh, water fountain. Jury nullification is for that, because that law is unjust. You, that law is in the book. Somebody decided to charge it, and so uh, jury nullification is for unjust laws. In what world should this person be allowed to plow over, six, kill six people, and injure 61 people? 67 people injured or dead. Jury nullification for that? Is that an unjust law? Yes, he did it, but we think it's okay that he did it. Really? That's the argument we want to go with? Overall, I'm not sure what I will decide. I'm not educated in law, and I have to admit I'm biased against the defendants for the horrible acts he did. However, it is also clear that this trial is a complete kangaroo court. Mr. Brooks has not been allowed to try and prove his innocence, subject matter jurisdiction, or explain... The circumstances surrounding the events. Okay, well, let's talk about he has not been able to prove his innocence or subject matter jurisdiction. He doesn't prove subject matter jurisdiction to the jury. That is the law. That is for the judge to decide. That is for the future appeals courts to decide. That is not something for the uh, jury. Now, his... Uh, now, the evidence that he wanted to bring in. Oh my god, the stupidity of the stuff that he was talking about. Um, uh, try and prove his innocence. He, he, he talked about nothing that proved he was innocent of a crime. Even the supposed, uh, let's say, uh, what is it, the, Ford, uh, the Ford's throttle issues. On the stand, the prosecutor's witness that investigated the vehicle said that he ran the VIN number for that vehicle and it had no uh, required changes to it for the throttle. He looked and he couldn't find anything. Yes, there may be some with uh, some of the vehicles, but let me tell you guys, the recalls, do not apply to every vehicle released in that year. It only applies to certain ones where they made it at a certain certain way or whatever. All right. Horrible, horrible argument. It's hard not uh, to imagine what could justify it, but we just can't know because of this trial. For these reasons, I'm torn between locking them up and throwing away the key or jury nullification. Both have arguments for and against them, and I'm not looking forward to choosing. I'm mostly writing this to help myself process my thoughts on this, but please let me know what you think. So that was 20 hours ago. Uh, the judge said, said that the clerk got an email about about 9.15 or 9.10 a.m. this morning. Uh, and then a mod, has uh, the user has submitted proof that he is a juror on this case for reasons... Hold on, hold on. An account was created three days ago. Yes, this is very believable. Trusted. I, I, I trust anybody with on any system with a brand new account. Now, again, you guys, I don't have an account. I, I think I've had a channel on YouTube now for a few years, so 
I know I'm not very active, but it's there. I have had that account for a very long time. For reasons of anonymity and the integrity of this trial, we will not disclose details on this process, but we are very confident to the authenticity of this user's claim. And the integrity of this trial. You have a somebody that you claim is a juror coming on here to say that he has uh, violated the judge's orders. And you're going to talk about the integrity of the trial? Seriously? There is no integrity if this were real. Now, I don't believe it is. I believe that this is just an anonymous person just uh, that's watched the trial and making up shit, but still. Uh, 36 minutes here, accessory to a crime. No. This, the juror, okay. The accessory to a crime, no. Uh... The juror himself would be held in contempt, but somebody allowing him to post would not be an accessory to the crime. That would be a very huge stretch. I I can't even see the judge trying to make the argument, even if it was proven that this was a juror on the trial. So, ignorant statement by this person. And... Yeah, see, 12 years. That See, that's more believable as a real person. You're confident this is a jury member has disclosed proof that uh, you don't give a fuck about the integrity of the trial. Again, again, I agree. Got to bend the rules a little to ensure the right outcomes. The right outcome in this is for this juror to be removed from the case, period. There's no other proper outcome. None. To say you want your side to win. The odds have been stacked against Mr. Brooks this whole time. About time he had something in his favor. The odds are against him because he was stupid. Not only about the crime. Okay, let's let's pretend the crime itself. Let's put that to the side. He had people that went to school to fight for him. Years and years of experience. Alright, between the two lawyers, they had 20-something years of experience. So... Tell me why he was better served uh, acting as his own attorney. He chose to represent himself. Oh, sorry, I guess I should have kept reading. Uh, he even argued with one of his own witnesses, all of his own witnesses. Not to explain it to you outside of just watching the trial. I haven't missed a freaking minute of this trial. Not a minute of this trial, okay? Uh, I may not have watched all of it live, but I watched every single minute of this trial. <laughs> in your statement is just stupid. Mr. Brooks has been stupid. He was stupid to fire his attorney. Uh, this entire trial has been nothing but a clown show. Alright? Because of him. His defense is a train wreck. He's berated the judge and threatened her the entire time. He's... Yeah... And I wouldn't say he's threatened her. He's certainly given her the stinky eye, and uh, she's felt nervous. In fact, yesterday uh, she said she actually felt scared, which I really wish she wouldn't have said, because that just gave him power over her. But she quickly took back after that break, but still. Um, you think this man belongs on the street, then you are a lost cause and are probably guilty of something yourself. You are Fubar. There are 76 charges in... That's pretty much as far as he's going to get, though. Yeah, he, he's won a few arguments here and there. Because the evidence convinced him as well as his own conduct. The odds have been stacked against Yeah, it kind of began when he killed those six people and injured 60 others. Yes, and then when he fired his attorneys. Again, don't do that, you guys. A few lessons to take from Mr. Brooks. Do not talk to the police. Not talk to the police, rule number two. Do not talk to the police, rule number three. Not represent yourself, rule number five. Not talk to the police. Violate any five of those rules, any one of those five rules, and you're just stupid. 
uh, sharing the biased actions and decisions that would still invoke the integrity of the trial. This tri trial is devoid of integrity since day one. Again, let's just take a look here. Uh, see, seven years ago. See, I, I believe this person more than the mod. Can you name a specific decision by the judge you found biased? Deliberately withholding all evidence with regards to insert evidence of list below here. Muting and threatening the defendant. Do you think he should just be allowed to completely derail the entire trial? Seriously? There's plenty of case law saying he can't. Show me case law saying he she can. Show me one case where he said where the uh, where an appeals court ruled that somebody is allowed to completely derail the entire case because they are too stupid to know how the law works. Show me one case that says that. One case. That's all I'm asking for. Evident uh, here in the U.S. U.S. jurisdiction. Okay, not some weird country. Evidence that the prosecution asked the judge to prevent from being included in the record. The vehicle recall issued by the manufacturer that was uh, did not affect his exact vehicle. That was testified to on the stand. Prosecutor asked if it was looked at. Witness said yes, and uh, the recall didn't affect that vehicle. Documented the technical issues of the vehicle. He didn't try to offer any of that proof. Not one time did he try to offer that proof. Law enforcement officers chasing the defendant into the crowd. They talked about that. There was testimony. The cop said, yes, I tried to chase after him on foot. So what? Does that mean you've got the right to plow over 67 people? Fucking, that's the stupidest argument. That's exactly what I expected to hear out of his closing today. I didn't hear that out of his closing today, thank God. But it's the law enforcement's fault that he was? No. He was pissed off, and yes, he may have been scared that uh, Nick called the cops on him, so there were cops coming in on the way. <coughs> that does not give you the right to plow over 67 people. Hit 68, injured 61, killed 6. That is a better outcome to you than you being caught by the police? For a fucking misdemeanor of battery? It's a misdemeanor charge. A misdemeanor charge is going to give you the right to hit 68 people? Kill 6 people? Seriously? And, but yes, this was testified to. The cops didn't disagree with it. He said, yes, I did. It was testified to multiple times. It was shown on a video that these cops chased after him. So what? Medical condition affecting the driver of the vehicle. He didn't even try to present any of that evidence. He didn't try it. He... Uh, judge is not in the wrong for Daryl Brooks failing to adequately question the state's witness with material that is always accessible to him. This is entirely on him for representing himself. He has a fool of a client and a fool of an attorney. Yes, neither can be blamed on the judge. Agree. Uh, the recall evidence was withheld because the state very easily debunked it. The entire inspection of the vehicle done and there were no malfunctions that would have warranted the recall. I would imagine you're not going to like that because it doesn't fit your narrative of the court somehow being biased. He's been muted several times before speaking out of turn. There are rules in the courtroom. Uh, chasing him into the crowd. Did they direct him into the crowd? Did they demand he run over 60 plus people? What in the world are you talking? Oh, wow. Um, Free Willy. Was this the 12 year guy? Yeah, a four year guy. All right. All right. They didn't debunk anything. They gave their version of those facts. It would be the task of the jury to consider the value of the evidence. However, that won't happen because the state believed the evidence was still too strong and enlisted the help of a biased judge to scrap the debunked evidence out of the record just to be safe and make sure the jury can't consider it at all. And she did the same with pretty much every other bit of valuable evidence in 
Darrell's favor while she muted, interrupted, and yelled at Darrell Darrell when he objected to evidence and instructing the jury to ignore him. She did nothing improper there. I'm not going to go through each point. Defied the weight of the evidence. The judge's job is to decide what evidence is given to them and present to them uh, present to them the law. If a judge believes that the state meets the threshold for showing the evidence, the weak can only uh, anything but bending the rules, especially given the sub is clearly biased in favor. Uh, I really couldn't care less about this fake justice. What we need is direct action. This is direct action. And why have justice in your name? But if by your standards, justice deserves quotes, wouldn't your username be kind of pushing that narrative further? You have bootlicker justice. I have equity justice. And you guys, again, you know what my channel is about. My channel is all about uh, people suing cops. I can't stand most cops. I don't think there is uh, there are too many good cops out there because the good the supposed good cops allow the bad cops to do what they do. So if any cop that doesn't speak up in the moment, not later, but in the moment and doesn't stop the bad behavior right then, they are a bad cop. Period. I didn't see any of that crap in this. I didn't see any of that. Uh, as long as you get things your way. Who's so adamant the courts need to be fair and unbiased for a guy that killed? Let me be killed, six people. This has been fair and unbiased. You're just delusional. Uh, I have years of research under my belt. Still haven't seen any of it. Sounds like something a racist would say. I have no clue what he was responding to, but okay. Enjoy being banned. Here, okay. So, Hart, share your proof. We have worked together to verify in a secure and airtight way. We are 99.9% .9 sure this is a juror on the trial. It is to the point where I would be very surprised if it weren't. <laughs> I don't believe you. I'm sorry. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. Not a word. While the trial is going on... He did it. He's going to jail. Nothing's going to change that. Judge Darrow is talking about this right now on court TV. They're putting a subpoena together, so you'd better get your ducks in a row. I can't believe that this... The moderator has nothing to fear here. Reddit may be uh, subpoenaed for the IP address of the original poster, but nobody else, guys. Can't wait to see the rest of this retard. Okay, let's go to some other posts here. Again, I want to be educated. I want to be out educated. Laws of conduct. Hell it case hell, but it's a uh, Correct, okay. Judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not executioner. That's for, that's for damn sure. Under what law would I have a mega pint? The admiralty law, possibly a maritime law. Is that what he said? For value returned, I do not consent to this. Is that a judicial determination? And all these bad faith actors because they disagree with the stupid subreddit uh, ideas. Because of the color of skin? Well, okay, so we can't see what was written here. I just want to see the person who mowed over a parade uh, get locked up. I'm a third party intervener here on behalf of my client. I don't consent to be mischaracterized as such. I object for the record. Grounds. You spelled it wrong. There's a Z there, no DS. Um, hope I can catch a few meltdowns. Hope we see the Tyler meltdown.
Uh, hold on. All right, you guys. It's more of this nonsense. It's been 35 minutes. I am going to go ahead and shut this down. It's been fun. I learned absolutely nothing. The guy on trial is a white right wing fool. It will get killed and overturned. Going back to back this farce of a trial. Really? I think that's incorrect. I back it. Uh, this dude is on camera running over a crowd of people. This is who you choose to defend? Fucking hell, guys. What are you doing? <laughs> They're all on meth or some hard drug. It's possible that their brains are super smooth. Okay, they just called the jurors back into the room. So, uh... Yeah, again, you got just stupidity. What do you think? What? What? I'm sure, I'm sure I've missed stuff in the subreddit. I'm sure I have. For uh, his melodramatic performance on the witness stand, his tearful opening statement, two sides to every story. All right, you guys have a good night. Uh, I will be. I'll see you guys later.